Finally, OpenAI has released something new after what felt like an eternity. Enter GPT-40 Mini, the most cost-efficient small model. They expect GPT-40 Mini will significantly expand the range of applications built with AI by making intelligence much more affordable. GPT-40 Mini scores 82% on MMLU and currently outperforms GPT-4 on chat preferences in the LMSYS leaderboard. It is priced at 15 cents per million input tokens and 60 cents per million output tokens, an order of magnitude more affordable than previous Frontier models and more than 60% cheaper than GPT-3.5 Turbo. Well, we all love cheap and cost-effective products, but not at the expense of performance. So how does it perform? OpenAI is claiming that GPT-40 Mini enables a broad range of tasks with its low cost and latency. Tasks such as applications that chain or parallelize multiple model calls such as calling multiple APIs. Or tasks that pass a large volume of context to the model such as full code base or conversation history. Or those that interact with customers through fast, real-time text responses through customer support chatbots. They claim that GPT-40 Mini supports text and vision in the API, with support for text, image, video, and audio inputs and outputs coming in the future. It has a context window of 128K tokens, supports up to 16K output tokens per request, and has knowledge up to October 2023. That is honestly too bad. Other models like Gemini have knowledge up to the current month of prompting. Thanks to the improved tokenizer shared with GPT-40, Handling non-English text is now even more cost-effective. Looking at performance of the model, OpenAI claims that GPT-40 Mini surpasses GPT-3.5 Turbo. It also is better than other small models on academic benchmarks across both textual intelligence and multimodal reasoning, and supports the same range of languages as GPT-40. It also demonstrates strong performance in function calling, which can enable developers to build applications that fetch data or take actions with external systems, and improved long-context performance compared to GPT-3.5 Turbo. When it comes to reasoning, GPT-40 Mini is better than other small models at reasoning tasks involving both text and vision. It scores 82% on MMLU, a textual intelligence and reasoning benchmark, as compared to 77.9% for Gemini Flash and 73.8% for Claude Haiku. But remember that Claude Haiku 3.5 is yet to be released so we cannot be sure about that claim. On math and coding proficiency, GPT-40 Mini outperforms previous small models on the market. On MGSM, which measures math reasoning, GPT-40 Mini scored 87%, compared to 75.5% for Gemini Flash and 71.7% for Claude Haiku. GPT-40 Mini scored 87.2% on Human Eval which measures coding performance, compared to 71.5% for Gemini Flash and 75.9% for Claude Haiku. And finally, on multimodal reasoning, GPT-40 Mini shows strong performance on MMMU, a multimodal reasoning eval, scoring 59.4% compared to 56.1% for Gemini Flash and 50.2% for Claude Haiku. Remember that these results that are provided by these AI companies are not to be fully trusted. But as you can see on the screen, there are graph comparisons between GPT-40 Mini and other small models. Of course, as you would expect, it outperforms all other external models and is smaller than GPT-40. I do not know why this model has been released, but maybe OpenAI wanted to remind you they exist without giving you GPT-5 or AGI. But I would like to know your thoughts on this. Comment down below and tell us whether this model seems to be a good release or it is just a smoke show. Also. Tell me whether you actually believe these eval results from the AI companies. I tend to think that it is the users who make the judgment on which model is better than the other. In most cases, you find that these models are better at one field while weaker than other models in other fields. One known reason as to why they perform better is because of information leaking from the evaluation test to the models. Information leaking is where some details of the evaluation test are known to the model before the model is tested. Similar to the way you would cheat your exams by knowing the content of the test before it arrives. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a comment and tell me what your thoughts are and I will appreciate that a lot.